welcome to Trucking Adventures number 62 and today's episode uh, we're looking like we're expanding very 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 quickly uh, and it could be soon to maybe do a depot per delivery uh, but more as we get into that as we get on today's episode but before we do make sure you like subscribe watch YouTube follow me on Twitch trying to get to 130 followers and affiliates so do follow me please watch me live that really helps me out check the link description below for the playlist see previous episodes or the future ones depending on when you're watching this and of course check out the channel as well and other social media as fast as well as enjoy right let's get into it uh so uh we're gonna be taking this one now when i left last night after my one there was a two hundred thousand pound load uh to portugal i think i think it was to set a ball it might be an aurora avora avora um which probably was around about the same amount per mile as this one to Seville, because, you know, that's 186, that's like 200, maybe slightly more. Uh, but it's not here anymore, even though it did say it had 25 hours remaining. And I finished that episode at 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, and we started this one at around about 8 o'clock at night. So uh, I don't know why that's not here anymore, but this one is now the most expensive that we can get from here. Fuel oil, down to Italy. 139,000, which is 140, uh, 79 pounds, 21 pence per mile. Uh, yeah, we're going to take it. Um, we've got a ferry trip across, and I think straight after from here, we will need be needed to go to Paris. We've currently got two trucks in the Madrid garage, uh, so with throughout this trip, uh, with this plus the money we've currently got of 103,000, it's slightly hidden behind here, but those who will get us another truck. Uh, which means we just need our drivers to give us enough money to get two trucks and upgrade. We'll get more on that as we start driving, though, because... Uh, because I believe we are now making over £100,000 per day. DF. Check out DF. Why is there a scout trailer in here? Uh, yeah, I checked it out. It's a, uh, it's not really my thing. Right, let's load up this trailer. Uh, this. Weighs 24 tons. I think we're a full 40 ton. Should be okay though. Right, we've got four and a half hours to do this. Too complicated for you. Nah, it's just not my type of game. It's just not my type of game. Um, I'm not really into like... Um, Um, sort of role-playing stuff games. It kind of reminded me of like games that you get on like the mobile. <laughs> See ya. Um, yeah. Uh, right, where was I with this? Um... Yeah, uh, we we should. I think we're making over a hundred thousand a day on this now, which is really good. I don't know why I just didn't go straight ahead then turn. I don't know why it sends me through this way. Um, uh, so if we're making over a hundred thousand a day, um, <laughs> um. And we're doing five day deliveries. That's 500 grand we're making a day, which is enough to buy two trucks each time, plus our own delivery. It's enough to get three, but we're doing more than five days. Because obviously we have to sleep and everything as well. Uh, this one's telling us it's going to take 55 hours to get there. Uh, we have. Ten and a half hours till we need to sleep. So we should make it through to Poland. Just gonna follow this container truck. 
Yeah, we could. It could go past, actually. We haven't got a turn off for a very long time. Oh, now it picks up speed. Yeah, of course, as soon as we pull out into the lane, now it picks up speed. Yeah, we'll just sit in this lane and go forward. We should get past. Go on. Right. Uh, so we've got 103,000 in the bank. This will give us 140,000, which is enough to buy a truck by ourselves. Uh, we still need to buy three trucks and an upgrade to Madrid before we move on to Paris. Uh, I'm thinking, however, though, as soon as we do deliver this load, Madrid will be full and we're making our way to Paris. Uh, and we should make enough money to get to there to obviously buy the garage and buy one truck straight away. We're sort of, we're sort of getting to the point where we can buy a lot very quickly, um, and it's it's getting to the point where like maybe, maybe like every two episodes now we're sort of filling out a garage. It's very quick. Um, I'm thinking, however, though it still will be probably every two episodes per one because. We kind of need to go a far distance then come back as like the next garage is all going to be really close to each other. Obviously after Paris it's then going to be like, you know, Brussels, Amsterdam, Copenhagen. Then we'll go back towards Luxembourg for the two axle trucks as they're limited to 40 tons only. So they don't need three axle lorries. Um, you're then looking at like Berlin, Rome. Um, I, actually, I actually don't know... The capital of Switzerland. Um, I'm gonna have to check. I always get confused because it's it's it's. Um... Oh, we're going across the the uh, thing here. Uh, I always get confused. I don't. I th Is it Bern? It's not. It's not actually not one of their most popular cities. It's like how everyone gets confused with Australia's capital city. Everyone thinks it's like, you know, Sydney, Melbourne, and stuff like that. It's it's not. It's um, Canberra. Right. When... We wake up from our sleep. We should hopefully um, buy another truck for Madrid. I was kind of actually looking for a load to go straight to Paris because when I was looking at uh, all of our stuff combined, of our average, we're now making a hundred thousand a day profit. But there was nothing to there. Oh. on the uh, normal market and on the external. So I feel like to, to, to Paris would have been at least four days as well, including sleeps. If we're making 100,000 a day, that would be 400,000 coming in. I probably would have got maybe a 100,000 pound load. So altogether, you know, 500,000 pounds. That would have been enough to buy two trucks and upgrade with the current 100,000 in the bank.
Right, through the border then. Uh, I don't think I do need to adjust any of our sat-nav, because I think we are going to go down through Poland southwards as we're going to Italy. Uh, we've got to take a ferry across. Yeah, leaving Latvia, straight into Lithuania. Speed up, yes, we can speed up. Right. Hoping to get a few drivers pay in. Again, all I mean all drivers realistically should pay us before we finish this. They should all do at least one load. Ugh. This is constantly like slowing down. And those birds are loud. Um, yeah. No need to worry about petrol at all. We've got plenty of fuel. We didn't level up in the last episode. We were like less than 100 XP away. Uh, definitely leveled up now. Uh, already to this. We won't get two levels though. We'll be close. But when we get to Paris, we should get our next one. I'm not sure if we're only two levels away from being maxed out on everything. fuel actually on here we've got over 600 miles worth of fuel I'm pretty sure we're heavier than our last load by maybe a ton we're under 2,000 miles away now from our destination oh, two, sorry 2,000 not 200 um More news, obviously, on ETS2 of the updates. 1.5 is delayed. Um, yeah, and just no news. Uh, the Greece DLC, obviously, they've they've teased some stuff about that because it is delayed. Um, you know, some research places and stuff, famous monuments they're putting in, and all of that. I'm still uh, I'm still debating on it whether Greece is going to be good or not. It depends on the price, realistically. You're only getting a country, and you're only getting 14. I believe it's 14 cities slash ports. Or I don't know if it's 14 cities and maybe some ports added on. If you're looking at Iberia, which was 51 cities slash ports in Portugal and Spain, and Spain and Portugal combined is bigger than Greece, uh, you know, you can't be charging the same price. Same with Road to Black Sea, uh, uh, so the West Balkans that just got released. It's a lot more cities, it's going to be a lot bigger than Greece, can't charge the same price. It's what I'm, it's what I'm looking at. It's what I'm waiting for.
we go faster or what? Yeah. 14,000 has just come in from Marcel. 14,600. I think we will purchase the next truck for Madrid after we've slept. I don't think we're going to get the money in beforehand. Oh, yeah, we lost it, so the brakes came on. Holy crap. I'm surprised we were allowed to go that fast around that corner, to be fair. Through the village. Yeah, the green steel suit. I mean... <sighs> I don't know if they will release the Grease CLC at the same time as the 1.5 update, considering how delayed it is. I mean, like the, the open beta, I think, was meant to be out by now. Uh, so open beta probably out by the end of the month. Um, that's that's the one thing that really bugs me with SES software is everything's just delayed. It's always delayed. Nothing ever comes out on time. Nothing's ever out on time. I think it's a bit more frustrating when you look at like maybe like the uh, the sort of speed and scale that pro mods release stuff in, how big it is and everything like that. Danny's just coming with twenty six pound, lovely. Like you know, I don't think they're as big as a team as SCS. You know, if there wasn't mods available for this game like workshop items or stuff like that, I think this game would be dead. Honestly, I honestly think it would be. Like there are there are trucks that have come out. They basically haven't added any new trucks to the game that haven't been out since like 2018. You know, still waiting for the Iveco S way. Iveco need definitely a new truck. The new Actros MP5. You currently have like the new. I think it's like maybe the MP6, which Mercedes have already released that I've seen videos of. Which look completely different to the MP5 and MP4 that I'm currently driving. That's being released and we still haven't had the previous generation. Ford F-Max, truck of the year. Not being released in the game. Obviously rigids. Everyone wants rigids in the game. Like, for example, for me, if you're based in the UK, uh, a rigid road train, like a, a rigid pulling a trailer, can definitely haul more cargo European-wise than, like, a Megaliner trailer. So, like, if we have them in the game, I won't have... I wouldn't buy... Um... I basically just wouldn't buy Megaline trailers. I'd have every every curtain cider would be based as one of those. Um, obviously, I would have Megaliners uh, doubles for countries. Oh, Lenka couldn't find a job. Minus where they can pull it as a double. 
1864. Just getting absolutely overtaken by a larder here. It's just, yeah. It's a bit frustrating. I think everyone, everyone who plays this game is kind of frustrated since we've been promised this stuff since, you know, Christmas time. Basically. They were they were saying this during the Christmas event stream. Um and we're still waiting on everything. There's loads of stuff that people just don't want added, just want fixed. Yeah, not making the same mistake. We are definitely not going fast around this corner. The thing that I want the most is obviously fencing the AA, the anti-analyzing, you know, all these like little, fix that. That should be fixing the 1.5 update. I think that's what everyone wants. The next thing I actually want is to see my company trucks on the road. See them. That's what I want to see. That will make a huge difference to the game. Also, trucks with the companies on their skins every truck is just plain it's like a different color and they're plain you don't see none with any modifications on them or nothing like that i'd i know there are mods out there that you can have and put them in but it should be just a basic game some trucks with like some horns on the top or like some extra lights you know standard there should be trucks with um like actual company so, like, I'm pulling this, right? We're pulling the NS Chemicals, right? You should see a cab with NS Chemicals on it. Like, as a company. Not all. But, like, quite a lot. Like, I'm pretty sure that's things they can add easily. Aneta just brought in 120, and Aneta's leveled up. Right, we're coming now to the Polish border. Five hours of driving remaining. Now into Poland. Fifty hours remaining until we get there. Welcome to Poland. Car transporter trailers as, you know, purchasable. That would be nice to have next.
buses that just remind me buses pulling in out of bus stops that would be nice Not having it break, I just can keep the foot on the floor, throttling, accelerating. I'm pretty sure this used to be in the game, right? And it's not anymore. But someone could tell me, but I'm pretty sure cabs used to be driving around without any trailers. You used to see truck cabs driving around without trailers, right? I'm pretty sure you don't see that anymore. Like it was it was rare, but it did happen. You see a lot now with the, obviously empty trailers, like with the um uh a container trailer empty, and sometimes you see flatbeds empty. I'm sure. But don't see any with car transporters empty. Don't see any cabs just driving around anymore, as just cabs. I'm sure. Like in real life, you don't see many tractor units driving around without anything or, or without a trailer or anything. But they they do go round. I mean, they could just add it to the AR, make it a bit rare, make, um, uh, make, uh, a bit more variety going round. It's just little things, little things they could do. I have no sound. You can't hear the game at all. On my on my stream, it says there's sound coming through. The truck is quite quiet. It's not. Um, we are driving quite slowly. Income of nine thousand pounds from a wreck, so it's not it's not revving the engine that much. Three and a half hours to need sleep. If I rev the engine now, it's still not coming that loud. We're not really accelerating. Don't know if you can hear it there. We're about to accelerate in a minute. There should be there should be sound coming through. I'm hoping there's sound coming through.
Right, here we come then into Polish town. Uh, we still have three hours remaining of drive time. They're speeding past me even though the speed limit's 50 kmh. Lovely. Uh... should be sound. If I do that, there's no sound at all. We've got 48 hours remaining, 1,745 miles. Uh, turning around here. making it a lot further into Poland than what I thought before we need to sleep. Oh, well, she's speeding. Yes, yeah. 50 kmh down here. Now we can go 70 kmh. Control active. Pass the speed cameras. Truck going the other way. Yeah, you see, yeah, look, there's a truck going past empty container. I think that sort of replaced the cabs with no trailers anymore. I think they've just replaced anything that was a cab that was empty now has a trailer that's empty. I think that's what they've done. Another cool thing to see, actually, is if, like, you have the DLC with the, you know, massive cargoes, oversized cargoes, is sees maybe the escorts going round with AI. I think that'd be a great improvement to the game. Could you imagine like us going down this road, right? And you've got a really important delivery, 472 pound inches by day. You've got like a really important delivery. You're just about on time. You're gonna make it by around about 10, 15 minutes. And then bang, you get stuck by a truck in a convoy pulling a massive tech part. So, you know, you can't overtake it because it takes over basically two lanes of the road. It's not driving that much slower. You're, you're, obviously, this is limited to 70 kmh. That's going 60 kmh. But it's enough to, like... That it's going to put you behind schedule. I think it would make... You know, it would make the game a bit more... A bit more challenging. Especially if you get on a dual carriageway. Where, even with a massive tech part, dual carriageway, that thing will be taking up two lanes. You know, you want to go some. Obviously, say say you're in the slowest motorways where you can go 80 kmh. That's going 60. You are delayed by 20 kmh. What is this camper van doing? Just in the lane, it's now backed off from me. Um, I think that would make the game a lot more interesting. It kind of like adds another aspect of the diversion sort of thingy. So not everything is like, oh, you you, just, you can't go down here. It's like, oh, you can, but you're going to be stuck behind this thing.
because there are there are trucks and whatever that you see pulling oversized cargoes um, like the excavators I see trucks with excavators on I'm pretty sure I do see trucks with boats on the back I'm sure I do or they used to be and they might not have them anymore, but I'm pretty sure they're on there Right, we've got a petrol station coming up. We've got two hours still remaining. Yeah, I'm going to go past this petrol station, I think. Again, double trailers. Add them to AI. I had a mod that added it, but the, the mod that did it then also put in real companies. I, just, I don't want real companies. Because, you know... I'm not sponsored by anything. I'm not putting any branded stuff in my streams. If, you know. I mean, I know I've got, I know I say that, I've got like branded stuff on the desk up there. Um, like Sweetwise. But you can't really see it. Or whatever. Um, But yeah, um, there's a yawn. Like I can't pull in in setting like in countries where you can have double trailers, like Germany or like the the Iberia or uh, Scandinavia, right? Why can I not pull round a double fridge? Why can't I have one? That would seriously like be able to increase the price of pulling around like stuff that is fridges but really light, like potted plants or vaccines or medical. You know what I mean? Having them go around like that, pulling eight tons instead of five tons, you make it you know you'd weigh under forty tons, or a certain place you'd weigh under forty-four tons. I can pull around double curtain siders. I uh, put a mod in where I can have double flatbeds and containers, but I still can't pull like a double fridge. I can pull double dry vans. That's normal in the game as well. Dry vans and curtain siders, but not a fridge. Or even a silo, because there are double silos you can buy. Can't pull around a double silo. There you go, excavator going that way. That's what I mean, uh, oversized. With an hour to go, so whatever the next petrol station is, we will pull into. It's starting to rain. I actually can't remember the last time we actually had rain. We're coming into Warsaw. Yeah, we're coming into Warsaw. This not gonna work then. There we go. I must have the automatic wiper switched off. Oh my lord! <laughs> Look how close. I don't know if you can see that in the mirror up there, but we are so. I don't know if it's better if I just do this. We are so close to that car in front. Oof. Uh, 
gonna make it through these lights. I think we should. Yeah. Um. Where is a petrol station actually? Why should we go straight ahead? We're not going. We're going a different way than we usually go. Uh, and I don't see any petrol stations, so because of that, we are going to sleep in Warsaw. Uh, we've got the hotel. Oh my lord, break, 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 break. Oh! I forget, it's raining, it's wet, breaking distance is a lot longer than what it usually is. I think we're pulling to the hotel, which is on our right. We're gonna go, yeah, we'll go right and we'll go into the hotel. On the grass. I mean, I don't think you're meant to have a trailer in here. Touch the fence at the back, so you know. Uh, right, uh, that on, that off, that there, sleep. Can we afford a truck? No, we're up to 158,000. Uh, so we'll just make our way out of here. So Richard O came in with some money, Danny's just coming in with some money. Danny N has also leveled up. Lovely. Danny N is leveling up very quickly. Uh, and Netta just came with some money. Oh, Irene J came with 27,000. So that's 159,000 pounds. Irene J has leveled up as well. Betts couldn't find a job. So they're minus. Can't afford a new truck though. Yeah, we're still. We're, I say we're at 160, and we need to go 230. So we're still um, 70,000 off. Uh, we should get that before our next sleep. Oh, say green for me. Thank you. Right, this is new road now being discovered. We've never been this part of Poland before. Yeah, there's just no petrol station that we were coming across. There's one down this way, but we turn off before it. Um, which is annoying. Uh, so we've got 45 hours. 
1,640 uh, 1, miles. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I can't exactly speak properly. Massive junction. Like, you see all these trucks going past. All of them are like bland, single colour. None of them have even got like the paint jobs. You know, like, um, you can obviously buy paint jobs. DLC, whatever. None of them have got any of those paint jobs on. It's just, it's just simple stuff like that you could add. Go straight to fifty. All right, so the petrol station is past this junction that way, but as you can see, we're turning off to the uh, to the right, so, you know, oh, income's just come in of £5,000 by Christine, lovely Christine, okay, we jumped straight from 50 to 53, that was mental. We are braking because there is a speed camera coming up. Ah, okay, road works, that's why. We're not going to get to syndicate. We'll go straight up to uh, 50 mile an hour. Um, trying to actually work out how much fuel we've got because we, because obviously we we've uh, you know, we've got 10 hours remaining of driving. I'd say we'd probably do up 400 miles within that time. We've only got 250 miles worth of fuel, so yeah, we're going to have to fill up before we sleep again. If we were on country roads where we were doing, you know, 43 mile an hour, I'd say obviously we'd, we'd, we'd be better. We'd probably, yeah, I would just fill up and sleep at the same time because we wouldn't go as far. Spend a little bit more time driving. Uh, we'll go past this petrol station. We've got 250 miles of fuel, so we can go past this one. Yeah, this is a new bit of Poland we're discovering. So we're going to discover quite a lot more of the map. I think we're discovering a lot more of Italy as well. Yeah, rather than like driving through lots, we've uh, gone this way. So, my bad. I don't know why we're. I was looking at sat nav. I don't know why we're braking for though. Making us use more ah uh, roadworks again. I think maybe. Shouldn't be. 
truck is very quiet, barely using any revs or fuel at all. So a little bit of the tire noise. Uh, we need to move over. There's a lot of traffic forming. Yes, we need to get over. Yo. Yeah, and this slows down to fifty kmh, right? What is it? 40 kmh. 40. Lovely. Nice and slow. There we go. Motorway up to 50 mile an hour. Lane. old school Audi one thing that I, I am like um, baffled by as well is copyright laws of I think it's, if anything's over a hundred years old um, you can use it uh, now I know this wouldn't add much to the game <laughs> I know this wouldn't add much to the game but like, could you imagine if they made every single like car that was like available in Europe or whatever over a hundred years ago? Obviously, you can have it like obviously non it's non copyrighted. Anymore, so if you just put them in anyway um, and put them round and like you can do the same with planes, trains, whatever, they'd be very rare to see. But if they're in the game, it just adds a bit more variety. I don't know. And every year you could do it, like it could, an update every year. Vehicles that are over a hundred years old, they're now free to use. I, I don't know because there's loads of controversy over, over the Mickey Mouse thing at the moment, right? Like um, the original Steamboat Willie one, where people can now use that in video games and stuff. Obviously, they re-trademark Mickey Mouse Disney, like every. 10 15 years a slightly updated version um but yeah if you could have like every vehicle trucks cars whatever like like for example mercedes is, is the oldest car company in the world i know people try to speak that with ford but mercedes is um could have almost I mean, Mercedes-Benz is over 125 years old. I'm just what other car companies are that old. You can obviously Ford is, but I'm not sure about Ford in, in Europe. Um, Volkswagen is the 30s, so that wouldn't be... Porsche might be... I think Porsche is older than Volkswagen. Um, Audi isn't. Audi's a young young car brand. Lamborghini, Ferrari, Arm. Um, I don't think I like big names. I don't think BMW is either. I don't think many of the German ones are. There's actually not that many car brands around today. Like, Tesla that's just passed, that wasn't... Uh, what's that? Skoda. Not sure about Skoda, to be honest. Alfa Romeo. 
I'm pretty sure Alfa Romeo was over is over a hundred years old. Nissan. Not sure about Nissan. That's a Renault. I'm pretty sure Renault's over a hundred years old. That's just a bus. Honda. Oh my god. I really wish, right, in the American ones, you can pull that round. There's DLC to pull around combine harvesters and stuff like that, like farming stuff. Why is that not in this game? Why can we not pull around combine harvesters? You got the tractors already. Put combine harvesters on. Um plows we've got diggers as well Like you can pull like a combine harvester without the rotation thing at the front, right? The comp like the actual combiner. Then you could have a trailer just with that rotation thing. That's a cargo. I'm pretty sure what the car uh, I have to look at the cargoes that are on American Truck Simulator where they have them. Oh, low fuel warning coming up, so we need to pull in for fuel at the next petrol station. Um Going past. Got a wheeze right now. There's a petrol station. There is a petrol station coming up. Uh, oh, yeah, we've got 100 miles of fuel. We'll make it. Definitely make it to the. to get over for sake. Uh, good job that yeah everyone's limited to 70 so we won't get overtaken accident on that side go off turn off again So actually pull for a farm. I'm just trying to think. The last like five, uh, two, three minutes, I'm trying to think of what else could you go for a farm. Like tractors, plows, the combine harvester, the front bit of the combine harvester. What else could you actually have? I mean, you can have different types of tractors, I guess. Uh, 246 pound fire netter, that's good. Like big tractors, small tractors. Scoops. But there is a scoop with the Volvo thing. Uh, cherry pickers.
big forklifts. You let me over flipping out. I saw that come right. I mean, beeped at me. Yeah, fine. Corey just brought in words. 203,000 now. Corey's also upgraded. Uh, leveled up, sorry, not upgraded. Uh, so, we have six hours still before we need to uh, need to sleep. Petrol station's just coming up now. You can see how it's at now. So, we'll fill up with fuel here. Uh, before we sleep, we should... We should... Yeah, we've got less than 50 miles to go. So, yeah, we'll pull over. Oh, it's a, yes, it's a nice one as well. It's a little one. I'm not turning off that big. I think we're coming to the border, right? One twenty a litre, that's nice and cheap. This is the border. With who? Poland and oh, the Czech Republic. Wow. I don't think we've driven through the Czech Republic before. I don't see any petrol stations on our journey actually at all on the whole map. Uh, we've still got six hours though, so I don't really need to panic. straight ahead. Big train yard next to us. That's a massive train yard over there. I see one coming up, yeah. I'm not really worried though. Because they've got all the branding for the manufacturers actually. Um, there's another thing they could add. I'm just thinking of stuff that I could add, they could add to this game. Is the factories for all the current trucks. Like you have, if you buy the Crone DLC, you have the Crone um, factory in it, right? They obviously have the, the the Volvo and Scania factories. But there's no Mercedes factory or the, or the DAF factory, and, and then there's Aveco in, in Italy, Renault in France, Man, I think uh, M A N Man and, and Mercedes are both in Germany. You could put them in; they would add to the game. And obviously, like the, the, I'm pretty sure the Renault one passing us here, Mercedes, MAN, and DAF, those four would be in the base game. I think Avecos is in, in proper Italy, so that would obviously be the Italy DLC. That is struggling up the hill. Oh, 
obviously Sweden and Volvo, they're, they're in the, you know, Scandinavia DLC. Like, they've put... Um, they put Skoda as Scout, right? I'm pretty sure it's, it's Scout in this game. They put that factory in for some reason when they didn't have the licensing, but they haven't put the license. They haven't put the trucks that they do have the license for factories in the game. It's a bit weird. It is a bit weird. I need to get over. I need these guys to flip and overtake me quicker. Ah, uh, now you move over. Two trucks coming up. I'm pretty sure that front one's going to accelerate and get to speed before we get up to it. What's we'll overtake Suprema though? Yeah, that one's gone. We'll pull in front here. I think that is sand builders. Two hundred and two thousand pounds. So we need another twenty five in five hours. So we need five thousand pounds an hour. We actually haven't even passed through any tolls yet, which I'm surprised about. Um, but we are delivering in Italy, which means we are going to go through Italian tolls. Um, obviously not in Poland, but we're in the Czech Republic. I'm pretty sure we're going into Austria. Yeah, it should be Czech Republic, Austria, Italy. Make sure that's the way we go. I might actually have a look when we do try sleep. If I do fill up on fuel or not. You are slamming the brakes on for some reason and they've moved over. Income £572. That's why. Uh, we actually need to get over. So they, they went over and they moved back over to the fast lane once they got... Oh, Vortis just brought in £7,000 as well. And has levelled up. So they moved over to avoid the accident of the cars and then moved straight back over when they were going past the accident of the cars. By sand builders. Right, turning off at this one. Are we going through a city? I think we might be. We might discover it right now. Yeah, we're going to go through one. Going through Bruno.
I don't know if we are going to discover it or not. We're going past turn-offs here. I don't know if it will count. I don't think it will. No, it's not going to count because I think you have to pull in. It's kind of like going past Amsterdam and uh, Rotterdam. You need to actually pull in off the uh, main road to discover it. as we've left and we're going to go into one lane oh we're going to need to slow down or can we keep going 50 mile an hour oh no we can don't know if I want to ok it's a bit straight through here Being overtaken, Peugeot. Three and a half hours remaining. We'll, put, we'll pass this petrol station. Probably the next one we'll stop at. There we go. Then leaving the Czech Republic. Going into Austria. As you can see, the whole rework, done, looks a lot different. The actual, the, the whole difference is madness. Right, trucks in this one, I think we're going to pull over. Yeah, it's telling us, yes, we are, we're pulling in for an inspection. Oh. been pulled in for an inspection. Thank you for cooperation, have a safe journey. That's kind of screwed us over a little bit, though, because now we need to get all the way over. Right, they're letting us out. Yeah. Oh! <sighs> that wasn't my fault. I was already in the lane. The green car was coming from the fast lane, and I think was trying to get over and leave. That scared the crap out of me, though. Leave off that way. Well, we are really struggling up here. Uh, we can, yeah, we stay in this lane. Vienna. Uh, straight ahead. Oh. Uh. This way. OK, 
Okay. This is a very complicated junction. Turning off again? Yeah. Right. And yeah, slow down. Now we go this way, <laughs> and then we need to get over. There's a lot of lane changing going on down here. Oh, we've got even more complicated junctions coming up. Okay, so let's keep our wits about us. Right, so yeah, there's a lot of lane changes we've got to make. So we actually need to be over in this lane. Right. Down and under this way. Then, yeah, we all go into one lane. Fine. Then we need to get over into this lane. Over again. Over two lanes. Holy crap. There we go. Now we're... Yeah, now we're good. Let's head out. A lot of lane changing through there. We've got a petrol station coming up. We've got an hour and a half until we need to sleep. Uh, yes, we'll take this petrol station. We'll take this one. And we'll fill up with fuel as well. We'll get back fuel and um, thing on target. Oh, but now those junctions go around there really complicated. Not much fuel put in, uh, but it's also not enough money to buy the next truck. So when we wake up from here, though, we should have enough money. Right. Yes. No, we don't. Oh, my days. We're still 4,000 short. Richard gave some money and Richard's leveled up. Anita came in. They're all low. They're all just over 1,000 pounds. Ah, have we not got enough? 907 from Danny. Yeah, they're all... They're all low. An income of 8,000 pounds from... Uh, I'm going to check my drivers though uh, for uh, if I need to be upgraded. I think Edinburgh is all, yeah, they're all balanced now. Yeah, these guys are all still long distance. Fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 221,000. Anyone delivering like really soon? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, they are. They're doing a minus. Oh, they're, they're okay. They're doing a minus. 
There's loads that are going to be doing it delivering, if you can see, within our next drive, under 10 hours. Lots of under 10 hours and one minor, so yeah, we are definitely affording the truck then. We'll be able to buy the truck before we sleep next. truck or oh, that was close to the tank trailer right so from here we've got 35 and a half hours and 1227 miles yeah I need to follow that truck after So, the third Madrid truck we bought before we sleep. I mean, we've got 35 hours to go, which means we're definitely doing another three sleeps. Well, one, no, one of the sleeps will be counted as the ferry crossing. So, two more sleeps, one ferry crossing. All 50 mile an hour rows from here, though, which is quite slow. Breaking downhill. Uh, and we will actually be going through Italy where we'll have loads of tolls. So, kind of like one driver bringing in a minus, definitely, because obviously they're coming out with no trailer, and us doing quite a few tolls. Yeah, it's, um... Yeah. Some of them that are delivering back, though, they could be minus, they could be, like, really little money as well. Who knows? I think I could have made it to this petrol station actually if I just went a bit longer. But still wouldn't have got me anyone else paying in because uh, yeah, no one's paid in with at the time. So at the moment, we've definitely got enough with our own delivery. If no one else delivers, we've got enough to buy the next truck and upgrade the garage. Another way bridge. Oh, I can see a look, truck this side. So we're going to pull over again, aren't we? Yeah. Flip's sake. There we go. Actually, I can afford. Let me just pull over here. That's actually perfect timing. Because we can just stop here now while we can get our next truck. Perfect timing, actually. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right. We're in a safe place to stop. Right. So let's uh, buy our next truck as our, uh, our. These guys have just come in. So we can get this, purchase it. This is now going to go into Madrid. Lovely. We've got £12,000 remaining. Uh, recruitment agency. Hire a driver. Uh, Georgia is the best at the moment. Those lots. 
Georgia it is then. So Georgia will be hired. Good carriage. Uh, I think I think there's an achievement to get like ten each female male. Have we not accomplished that yet? <laughs> uh, uh, have we not accomplished that? What? <sighs> Two females. Three females. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. No, nine. We've only got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We need one more female, and then we have ten, ten. Wow. Look at that. Right. That's good then. We've got our truck. That was a perfect that was a perfect delivery timing. Ooh. So, with an extra obviously driver now in Madrid, money will come in even quicker. We have got enough though from our delivery to do the truck uh, to do the depot upgrade. I'm hoping by the time we deliver this, uh, we have enough for another truck and delivery up uh, and upgrade. Uh, obviously, we need to upgrade the garage next, which isn't as much as buying a truck. So uh, over ninety thousand pounds in the bank. We currently have ten thousand, so we need eighty thousand pounds. We still have that one driver who is going to bring in a minus. We have 34 hours to go. 1,150 miles to go. We have 9 hours until we need to sleep again. Has obviously slowed us down a little bit. Uh, we have three hours of real life time to deliver this. Yeah, I should definitely do it. Oh, we need to get over. Come on, coach. They let me over. Thank you very much. covering a lot more of the road the map as well doing this definitely over 30% has been discovered now um, I'm kind of thinking by the time we finish these three axle mid lift trucks we should have discovered 50% of the map like, I'm going to go to Paris, discover more of Paris while going into there, and driving to Paris or the Civil War. Then got to go, you know, Brussels. We haven't been into Brussels yet. Amsterdam. I think we've delivered into Amsterdam. We can drive through this one. We're not stopping. Um, so, you know, that will discover a bit more. Copenhagen. I'll discover a bit more. And obviously driving, doing jobs in between, hopefully discovering a bit more route, road as well. Oh my lord, look how close that one is to the right at the back of that one. It's outrageous.
to every time we level up and um, every time we level up and everything we get more and more money per mile. We've only got two levels here. We're level 34, level 36 matches out. We'll definitely be level 35 after delivering this. Uh, and hopefully, actually, when we deliver to Paris, we'll be level 36. So we're going to be well into 35. I think, yeah, we're only 100 XP away. 35. So we'll be uh, so far in once we deliver this. Uh, obviously, it's an ADR, so we get ADR bonus, the driving bonus. There's no bonus on the... Because um, uh, it's, it's, it's a standard delivery. It's not important or uh, urgent. So there'll be no bonus on that. But the ADR bonus plus the mileage bonus should give us enough to be less. I say less than like 3,000 XP away. Obviously plus parking. 3,000 XP away from the next from the next level. And we should, if we get a direct one to Paris, because it's over a thousand miles. Um, plus parking, whatever. It should it should be enough to get us to the next level after. Hoping after we wake up, um, we'll have enough money to upgrade the garage. That means obviously less less money they spend on fuel and maintenance, which is more profits. One-sided petrol station. There's also got a camera in it. Interesting. Flip it out, that's really racing past. Holy crap. should pull in. Give it a flash to be like, yeah, you can. Ah, welcome to the absolutely mad border. Which we're crossing through. So now we've done another way. Oh, yeah, there's 13 ways to go through this. Here we go. We've gone through another way through it now. Yes, the Austrian, Slovenia and Italian border. There we go. We're now entering Italy. Welcome to Italy. Income of thirty thousand pounds from Monica. 
Oh, my headphones have just fallen off. Oh. Uh, and Monica has also leveled up. Uh, we're going through the Alps, so this ain't like a flat piece of land. My headphones have fallen off my head because I was taking a drink. Hold on. Whoa. There we go. They're back on my head. There we go. That's a 40,000, so we still need another 50. Another 50,000. So we're going to go through loads of tolls now, which will minus the money out. Coming up to a toll now, actually. Be looking for. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh, what's happened here? What's happened? Why won't that car move? Oh, why is it stopped? I should have gone up down the hard shoulder. I can't get out now. I don't get it. I don't know why they're not going anywhere. Are they reversing behind me or not? Not bothering. It's stuck. If only that truck moved out of the way. And I could swing over. But they're not even putting their reverse lights on. Right, I cannot. Can definitely not fit between those cars. <laughs> yeah, everyone's beeping, no one can do nothing.
We're just stuck. I don't know why that car won't go. <sighs> Clearly that car wants to turn that way and it can't figure out if it goes past this. It can't like go that way through that hole. We're just we're just absolutely stuck now. And there's nothing we can do. Because I've got a World of Trucks one. So I can't skip anywhere. Because the World of Trucks trailer will just disappear. So we are absolutely stuck. Why won't that yellow car just go? Right, we're just gonna have to. Right, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna bump them forward. So, yeah, we're just gonna have to bump them forward. Sorry, you're just gonna have to go. We're just gonna move everyone forward. That's it. Keep moving. Right, will they sort themselves out now? Yeah, hold on. There's, where's one car? There's one car. Right, are you gonna are you gonna move? Just go. Can't actually can't go any further because they're starting to turn. Right, go. I don't care if I get fined. Just move out the way. You're just stuck. I can't push it further down because it's going to keep sideways. Yeah, they need to turn around and go. Oh, look at that. We're clear. We're clear. I don't know what's going on there. Just so stupid. Lift! Oh, for sake. Right! Now that that's happily wasted so much of time, we have five hours remaining, 1,000 miles to go. Five hours of sleep time remaining. Drive time, I should say, not sleep time. 1,000 miles to go, 30 hours still till we get there. 
That's definitely added time on. Hello, they're driving through now. So annoying. Clearly it was a car that wants to go that way, like those guys, but like you could just go after the top, move over. Like, I don't understand. Anyways, still need forty thousand pounds to upgrade garage. Station. We'll go through this one. Yeah, we've got over four hours still remaining, so we'll go through this one and probably stop at the next one. Income eighteen thousand pounds from Chris K and Chris K's leveled up well, to sixty six now, so twenty thousand to go. We'll have enough to upgrade the garage. Toll coming up. Uh, stay in this lane. Gold, gold, gold. got done for speeding. Don't really care. This I need to make up some time. I mean, yeah. We were going 25 through a 20. Starting to get away from me? I think they are. I don't know why the Mini pulled over. Stupid from the Mini. Oh, Marcel's just brought us some money. We're up to 76 and they've leveled up. So we need £10,000. Or nine, actually. £9,000. And 
we can upgrade the garage. So that's, yeah, we'll definitely upgrade it before we sleep. Still got more tolls to go through and obviously fuel to fill up with. So we do need about £10,000 from our drivers. There you go, here's with the empty trailer. Yeah, there's something, I think the cabs that didn't pull any trailers were empty had been replaced by them. That's what they've been replaced by. stay in this lane. We are really slowing down because... Yeah, no reason. Toll. We are in the gold lanes, I'll say here. Follow the truck in front. control just isn't slowing us down in time. Lift. Thank you. Right. Turning off here. Elena's level. Oh, Elena just brought in enough money to uh, upgrade the garage. Anne has leveled up. Brilliant. Uh, we only have two hours left of drive time remaining, so we're not going to actually spend that much longer till we go there. We're kind. Of, mm, we're just about in it though, so I, I kind of want one more delivery before I do upgrade it. Because I feel like we are maybe going to go for at least one or, one or two more tolls. And obviously we need to fill up with fuel. Which is going to use money as well. That's the petrol station. Is that where we're going to stop? Oh, I don't see another petrol station on the map. The petrol, that petrol station is actually quite far away. I don't know why there's a sign for it yet. I'll keep it like this. I don't see any other petrol station yet. Coming up to it now, I think, yes, we are going to, yeah, there's nothing coming up. We're going to pull into this one. Oh, oh first, yeah, we'll pull into this one. Uh, it's sleep first, actually, then fuel. So, it's not really what I wanted. Uh, we'll just park. Uh, we'll get the garage upgrade. Well, actually, no, it kind of is, because then I don't... Uh, fuel's after, right? So, yeah, we can upgrade. Upgrade it. We're down to £695. Uh, but we should earn money while we're sleeping. 
Yeah, it's just going to show us this garage. There's now fuel in there. So fuel and up, uh, fuel and services for the uh, Madrid guy should be cheaper, which obviously makes us a bit more money. The profits from there make a bit more. <sighs> da, 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 da. Right, that's now done. Yeah, look at our daily profit. Uh, you know, them combined is over a hundred. So we're over a hundred a day. Right, let's sleep then, shall we? Oh, there's now a truck next to us. Interesting. We're up to sixty-seven thousand. Christine's just brought in some. Uh. I'm going to check my drivers and see if any need to be changed uh, on the Lisbon side. Yes. So, balanced. No, Marcel's the only one. Everyone else is long distance. Okay. So there's one change. We're up to 67,000 in the bank now. We're obviously going to minus a bit of that. We're filling up with fuel. See if anyone else brings us any money or levels up while we are here. Tank fuel. Danny's come in, yeah. There we go. Veronica has leveled up. the fast lane because there's no one there that's an underpowered truck that we're going past that car ahead of us isn't exactly going very far which suggests that there might be a bit of traffic up ahead Richard has just brought in £1,000. Thank you, Richard. Uh, the money we're getting from this and the money we've currently got. So we're going to get £140,000. we have currently got nearly seventy, which is two ten, which means we still haven't got enough to get a truck and a driver yet. We do need help from others. Uh, we've got 26 and a half hours to go uh, before we reach our destination. There is some weird junction coming up here. Uh... 26 and a half hours ago, and we've got 830 miles, so still a lot of time. A junction where they go through tolls before they, yeah, are we, are we going through a toll? What? What? It's 60 km through here. Okay, we're meant to be in this lane anyway. Holy crap. So you turn off on that toll one to go Bologna. going through tolls again. We've got to slow down again or can we just go 
50 mile an hour. I was so confused through that. No, they're going through tolls again. What a weird junction. Right, well now we need to get over again. coming up here. Holy crap. What's going on? Um, yeah, I actually would have made it to that petrol station if I went further. I could have gone to here. Fine, that was fine. All right, we'll go around this truck. this Florence okay. Amazing. we've got 25 hours still to go before we reach our destination 772 miles I think that does include our ferry though we shouldn't be too far away from our ferry um, I'm not sure you know actually I think we probably will need to sleep. We've got nine hours of drive time. Okay, we can move over, so we will. Now we're joining onto roads we have been down before. Evening time. 
slow down a bit for the tunnel. Rome will event. Right, we, yeah. There's a lot of turn offs, a lot of complicated junctions. Um, we're going back west, uh, north east. We're going back east, which we don't want to go east. We want to go west, right? So I don't know why we're cutting back across to the east. from my throat it's starting to get a bit dry I've been drinking loads of um, water but I've drunk so much water I don't know if I can drink anymore without you know needing to go to the toilet because we have been doing two hours so I think it's better to have the lozenger Right, coming through the night now. There are 24 hours to go. Uh, that means one sleep. I think I mean, we've got eight hours, so that's 16. We've got a ferry, so yeah, one sleep maximum is what we're going to do. It could be no sleeps. I mean, like, if we get to the ferry with an hour to go, that could include then the time it takes to go across. fully rest and then, you know, go another five hours drive. I'm hoping when we do deliver this, we can, I mean, we should be able to, I'm hoping by the time actually we cross the ferry and get into the Italian island, we have enough money to buy the fourth truck. And if we can buy the fifth one when delivering this, it will be amazing. Here we go then, into the night time. Yeah, we're definitely in the south, south, south of Italy now, because we're getting a lot of petrol stations up quite regularly. Northern Italy is sparse, southern Italy has got quite a lot. past us. Empty load. Oh, no, we're, we're well ahead. We're well ahead of that truck. Oof. Then. Yeah, they're going to go past the other one as well. No, they're not. They're pulling in front of us. Interesting. I thought they were going to keep going and maybe go past the other truck as well. speed obviously because we're going downhill
right, nobody's coming past us now, so if we do get stuck behind us, because they are keep breaking, look, they see the light brake lights coming on. I don't know if that truck's going to go past and overtake. I hope it pulls out and actually drives it, because we're not anywhere near the other truck in front. We are very slowly closing in. I think that one's struggling up hills. It's a white port that one pulled in rather than going past it. We have gained so much. I think there's another truck coming on the outside lane. It wants to go past. was and then it braked. We're coming up to a junction, maybe it wants to come in behind me. They're both breaking, I don't like that. Six hours remaining of drive time. No, ah! Uh, oh, now I've got this truck undertaking me because it this this breaks. Ah, uh, because there's a toll. Okay. And the outside one's also overtaking. got that coach over there we actually need to stay in this lane it's telling us to go in the middle one so we'll stay in the middle one no idea what that says yeah but we need to be in the middle lane income of 1600 pounds from driver georgia nice uh yes so we're gonna be in this lane here Many roads lead to Rome. Two out of four. What does that mean? We're going past Rome? Oh, there's four, like, motorways into Rome. We've, we've gone... The second way in. But we've been through the other way, so how are we not, like... Oh, we've come through the north, we've come through the south, and now you've got the east and the west. Okay. Fine. following the same way that we've come before. Um, what well, has it? I don't see any... We've got five hours, which is plenty of time, but I don't see any petrol stations or anything coming up. I see loads of tolls, though. Which is kind of like, hmm. 
Are we going to sleep? I don't know. I think I think we might just go straight to the boat. I don't know if we are going to sleep. Oh, I see a petrol station now. So we have definitely got one coming up, so... Yeah. I don't need to panic. It's, I kind of hate when we come across big cities like this. Uh, obviously, once I've been updated, like, kind of, you know, where they have these sort of ring roads, because usually you have petrol stations just off the ring roads. Uh, or, you know, where you just miss it and it's just after a junction. I hate it. It constantly happens. Right, so turn it off here and straight into a toll. Lovely. It's not even at 70,000 yet. Well, we're definitely not going to be soon because we've got to go for another toll, which obviously costs money. up in time. Right, so passing that toll, we've got 20 hours remaining and 555 miles to go. I still can't see any, like, docks yet, or like, you know, marinas, when we fully zoom out. Uh, obviously, we'll have a little look, closer look when we get to the petrol station, because that's what I'm going to be looking at if we need to pull into it or we can keep going. Oh, income minus £59 from Corey T. That's not going to help. Yeah, if we can, when we land into the Italian island, uh, you know buy our next truck, that would be very, very nice. There's a sign for the petrol station. Let's see on the sat nav then. Oh, yeah, so let's zoom out. No, I don't see any other petrol stations for a very long time. We've still got four hours. Um. I'm not going to pull over with four hours to go. I think that's a bit too much. Yeah. Keep going. We've slept on the other side, and that's coming from Sicily, I believe. So, I mean, if we can drive from Sicily to there... That was, what, maybe eight hours of drive time we had? It should be half. It should be maybe only four. So... Because we're not, we're only going halfway down. We possibly can make it to the ferry port before we run out of time.
bit fully zoomed out. We have got like a weird spiral one coming up soon. looking at where we are going. It's a fire engine trying to overtake me. Naples. I think it might be Naples that we're going across on. We're turning off here. This will move over. Yeah, I think it might be Naples we're going across. I still can't see no marine or anything yet. But I know we're turning off towards Naples. I might see a little bit of blue now. Yes, I do. Yes, so we are going to Naples. We are going to the ferry crossing. We have one petrol station we are passing before we reach it. Um, so, it's either that petrol station or straight to the boat. I think that petrol station is maybe only half an hour away from it, so we don't, yeah. Looking at the time now, we have two hours. Oh. Let's see how it turns. Yes. Okay. Right, we're turning off here then at this junction. Oh, was Napoli? Forty, right. Petrol station is just ahead. You can see on the side of down there. Um, yeah, we want to be in this lane. Yeah, we're going straight to the boat. Just 
straight to the boat. Go across, uh, which means we don't need to sleep again. Because... Yeah, we've got 17 hours remaining. It's probably an hour from here to the boat. Just 16 hours remaining. It, I mean, and the island's probably only about a two, three hour drive. So definitely just straight, straight, yeah, straight to the boat. That's the petrol station. Actually, is there another one? No, there isn't. That is the petrol station. It's a garage up ahead, I can see. There is a camera fig up here as well. Uh, we are going straight. Oh, Naples is really tight. Twisty, turny. Hang on out. Oh, okay. Now we're going to go down the end. I'm not going to turn that way. Yeah, that's just stupid. We're going to go this way. There you go, down here. Straight across. Into the port. I don't know why it just doesn't do that. Look, straight, straight, easy. Straight down here towards the boat. Yeah. There it is. Very faint, but yes. Right. Enter. Oh, there's three places to go. Uh, okay, so definitely there, because I think we're going there. Yeah. 14 hours. It's all in bank. That will fully rest us. That should give us a lot of money coming in as well. Oh, no, we're only on to 85,000. What? What? How are we to... Did no one pay us any money at all? What? Five. Seventy. If you're seventy hours away... You should be paying us some money in. Forty-four. Fifty-eight. Fifty-one. Eighty. These guys should have delivered. Look, based on long distance. So they've definitely delivered and leveled up. So, balance. Balance. I don't know why it hasn't paid me my money. It should have paid me my money. I don't know why we're only up to 85,000. It's outrageous. Right, we've only got three hours until we deliver this. So we're not going to afford a truck. Ooh. Yeah, we're not going to afford a truck with what we've got and what's there. Why is why are they all paid us in?
Maybe when someone, if someone pays us in or when we pay our load in, maybe it will correct how much we've actually got in the bank. Because I'm pretty sure we should have more than that. It means we only got paid like £20,000 from everyone. <laughs> Definitely not right. Come on, I want to make it through these lights. Those containers around here. Keep breaking. Turn off. Don't right. oh, clip up the bump then. around here so not that turning on the next one Hopefully there's a gap. There is a gap. Okay, so we've left there now. We've got less than 100 miles to go and just over two hours to go. Uh, Fuel-wise, we are 350 miles worth of fuel. So, yeah, don't need to worry about fuel or anything. Um, if we are going to go Paris after this next load, well, obviously, I think there's a port at the north part of this island. That should take us up there, so, I mean, we don't need to sleep or fuel up again. Because we'll drive to that, that will take us across, that will get us fully slept. Uh, and then we'll fill up with fuel when we're in France. I'm shocked that we're only at 85,000 pounds. It's said! That Victoria on that delivery when I clicked on it delivered in forty thousand pounds. So how am I only twenty thousand pounds higher up? I have no idea. Like there couldn't have been that many, so many minuses coming. Obviously, we spent a bit of fuel, like uh, sorry, seven hundred fifty quid getting across. But it can't be that many minuses coming in, and drivers did level up. So I don't really get it. the lovely mountains. Fifty miles to go, just over an hour to go. 
No one's going to pay us in, I don't think. So we, yeah. Uh, well, what we got? I mean, we've, we're going to get 130, right? Plus this 80. We're, sorry, it's 140? Yeah, 140 plus 80 is 220. So yeah, it's just about not enough to get us another truck and a driver. We're about 10,000 pounds short. pretty sure whatever we've got in our thing is wrong. I wish there's like a log of like where you can see um, whose money comes in when. Because that is definitely just wrong. Breaking for. It's an hour to go now. You braked, and now we're struggling to go up this hill. Not that much of a steep hill, to be honest. breaking for right turning off here this should lead us actually to our delivery point oh. lovely view there you go yeah I see the delivery point on the sat nav Seventy mile an hour. Sorry, seventy kmh. That is a really low sun. I don't like the look of it. We've got to be careful because I think there's a sharp corner. Yeah, but more uphill. This road literally only leads to the delivery point. There's nothing else down here. Oh, income, £307 by Georgia. Georgia has also levelled up. Uh, enter 90 XP, please. Yeah, we could just... Can we drive? No, we can't drive around. Ugh. Well, it's kind of straight, but it's not. <laughs> so pull out. Oh, right. There's actually no loads in here, though, which I'm kind of worried about. 
Uh, there's no trainers or anything in here. Which kind of suggests to me that it is kind of broken and that, you know, I feel like we should be on a lot more money for some reason. Uh, right, 1,737 miles done. Yes, boom, straight in. Right, how long? Uh, how much is that? 3,000. Yeah, we should definitely get 3,000 XP driving to Paris. Uh, as you see, we only need one more. So now we can save 30% of fuel applied. We, uh, we've only got 224,000, which isn't enough. It, it It isn't enough to buy a truck and a, a trailer, which is so baffling because I'm pretty sure loads of these guys did deliver. Like, I'm pretty sure Veronica delivered. Christine... I don't, I don't get it. Chris Kate should have definitely delivered on that journey, yeah. And brought me in 18,000. I think he did just before we actually embarked. Monica. Yeah, day 110. I don't know what day we're actually on. What day, what day are we on? Right, we're on 111. So anything in the 110s, anything delivered in 110, we should have got it. So, you know, Veronica's 110. That should have come in. Yeah, all of that should have come in. Look, 111, 111, 111. There's no way she. I've got all of those. 110. 110, 110. 11, 10, 10, 10. It's so ridiculous. 11, minus, okay. 10. So there, there can't just be loads of minuses. Minus. But then 10, 10. Profit, profit. 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 So I mean, I'm missing so much. I'm miss. I'm definitely missing a lot of money. Uh, let's just check these Lisbon guys out. Cause yeah, cause I, cause these guys definitely upgraded. Cause I had to switch them to balance. Uh, but yeah, they're all on that there. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll we'll leave this then. Um, I thought. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we are missing. Like a hundred thousand in cash, sixteen hours across there, yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll leave it here. If you have enjoyed, though, please like and subscribe. Watch YouTube. Follow me on Twitter to get to one hundred thirty-four. So if you're to do follow me, please don't like that really helps me out. Uh, check out the link in the description below for the playlist. See previous episodes, all the future ones, depending on when you're watching this. And make sure to check out our channel and other social medias for us to post. Might as well enjoy. Uh, next episode, we will be making our way to Paris. We should buy the rest of the trucks for Madrid, and we should get the Paris depot. Uh, but yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. It's been a lot. It's been a long one. It's just been, yeah. It's been one where I've been overthinking, I think, too much. Um, so it might be a bit quiet in some place. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you have enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. Take care and bye.